I need a couple business days to like fully process that. Hi guys, how are you? Today we're reacting to Renee Rapp. It has been a long time since I reacted to Renee Rapp. Renee holds a very, very special place in my heart. She was actually the very first musical theater reaction I ever did. Literally three years ago, I did a reaction to her when she was playing Regina in Mean Girls. And I totally thought that nobody was going to watch it. At that time, like no vocal coaches on YouTube were doing musical theater reactions. So I really just posted it for fun because I wanted to talk about it. And all my theater nerds found me. <laughs> I was so happy. And that totally changed the trajectory of my channel. And so I love Renee Rapp so much for that reason. And also because she's so, so unbelievably talented. Disgustingly talented, this girl. And she's also hilarious, which is just a little... <laughs> This is cherry on top. Confession. I actually haven't heard her new music. None of it. So I think we're going to do two songs. So I want to start with Talk Too Much. She just released this. Let's see. The music video came out eight days ago, but I also haven't heard Snow Angel. And that came out two months ago. That's not okay. How can I even call myself a fan? That's not okay. So I think we're going to do both. So first, we're going to start with Talk Too Much. Quick thank you to my patrons. Thanks for patronizing me. I love you. I love you guys. Let's do this. It's Kennedy. I follow Kennedy on TikTok and Instagram. I love her. This power walk she has going on. Okay, I'm going to pause because I'm having a hard time focusing on three amazing things happening at the same time. The singing, the video, and like the major eye chemistry going on between Renee and Kennedy. Okay, that's a lot for, to process. And also the lyrics. She just said, I'm here again talking myself out of my own happiness. You can't just breeze past that line. I feel like I need a couple business days to like fully process that. Ooh, she's got this like, I don't even know what this is called. This like 90s rock edge edited onto her voice. <laughs> I'm not explaining that right. Like here. And she's also doubling her voice. She sounds amazing. I need to hear more. Let's continue. I won't get distracted by the girl crush energy that's happening. She's so cute. This is not alcohol, by the way. This is electrolytes. <laughs> I just thought it was like a fun little glass to drink out of. Okay, I'm not getting drunk at 1.30. I really like the pre-chorus where she is like lightening up a little bit, showing contrast before she starts belting. That is something that we don't think about a lot. We only think about like the big stuff when we're singing. And the thing is, is in your performance, the bigger moments, the louder, beltier moments are going to be more impressive if you also have moments where you pull it back. And she does that really well here. There's more air in her voice, and then she builds. I love that top harmony that she's doing.
Why is she being escorted out? I don't know anything about poker. <laughs> Why is she being escorted out? Was she like counting cards or something? That's a poker thing, right? Pretty sure. Okay, having uh -oh. said all that, do you still want to be with me? It's like, I, I, I want to be with you. Like, like maybe even forever. Holy shit. Okay, maybe not forever. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not saying not forever. I, I actually have no idea what I'm saying. Are you mad at me? Because it's cool if you are, right? Like, I don't care. But, like, if, if you are, I'm going to resign you. I'll, I'll forgive you. But I was just wondering, like, okay, like, it's a sign. Do I actually hate you? Yeah, I think I think the like gangsters are like about to beat them up are literally listening to her dig her own grave and they're like, oh god, this girl, you do talk too much. I really like her grungy makeup, by the way. <laughs> okay, so that was talk too much. I just filmed a reaction to Olivia Rodrigo's bad idea, right? I just feel so similarly about this song as I did that song, which is relatable. I feel like we've all had moments where we're just like talking and then we're like, oh, th this is going poorly. Let me try and salvage this. And then you just keep talking and then you've actually made it worse. So I feel very connected to Renee in the song. Like, girl, I get it. There should have been make more gay tension though. If I had to give feedback, vocal coach reacts. What's my feedback? What's my critique? There needs to be more gay tension. <laughs> Not enough. Now we're gonna listen to Snow Angel. This came out June 15th. Bose product placement? Okay, pause. That actually has to be a Bose product placement, right? That felt like really obvious. Totally not necessary to mention, but I'm still going to talk about it. So she's singing in her falsetto, which is a lighter version of a head voice. It is a misconception that only male voices have falsetto and female voices have head voice. No, we all have chest voice, head voice. Falsetto is a lighter version of a head voice. And so there's a lot, a lot of air coming through. And she does this so beautifully. It almost sounds like a whisper. And that is amazing for a style addition, but it can be dangerous for your voice with all of that excess air. Love it in small quantities, which Renee does beautifully, but we can't sing like that all the time. That would hurt our voices. And we would also feel it. It's like if you spend an extended period of time whispering, you feel your throat dry out and it's like painful. That's how this would feel if you did this all the time. Oh, this is beautiful. Ooh, 
Ooh. Uh, that just gave me goosebumps. I needed to like give that lyric a second. Whew. This is gorgeous. I really, really love the design of this music video. It's so beautiful to look at. Also vocally and the lyrics, all three combined. Overwhelming experience. I can make it faster if I hurry. I'm in the snow until I'm worthy. But if it kills me, I try. Oh, I love this so much. I need to hear that transition again. Hold on. Incredible. I have heard that one part of the bridge. I have heard that because Renee posted a video of her singing that a cappella. Well, actually, no, with a piano. And it was so good. Actually, we have to listen to that. Hold on. So that's the only exposure to this song that I got was that video that she posted on Instagram. And now that I've listened to the album version, I have to say that I wish that the vibe was a little bit more focused on her voice because the bridge in this one... So you can kind of hear that little bit of distortion on her voice. It's a cool addition, but I prefer to hear her voice without that, especially when she is doing her thing. When she's doing the thing like no one else can do, I want to hear her shine. But it was incredible. It gave me goosebumps multiple times. Renee, you're so talented. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I think I said this in my Olivia video too, that I feel like so connected to... Olivia because I reacted to her like so much at the beginning of my channel but even more I feel connected to Renee because of that like there's this part of me that's like oh hey girl like 
Like we have history. And I just adore her. I think that she's amazing. So y'all should all go follow her if you aren't already doing that and support her music. Genuinely one of the most incredible voices I've ever heard. Yeah. And you should go watch my old video where I react to her in Mean Girls. It was super fun. You can get like 2020 Hannah. That was a long time ago. Okay, y'all, check out my Patreon if you want to get longer videos from me and my second channel if you want content that is very, very different from this. Surrounding romance books, little sneak peeks into my life and what's going on with me and other like fun things like that. Okay, bye.